guys welcome this is a general reading for the collective of pisces sun moon rising venus welcome all cross watchers and for those of you who may be new to the channel happy to have you here well excuse me leo am i boring you by keeping you up from your fourth nap today hmm? this is leo <laughs> He's a Gemini, um, and he is going to hang out until he's ready for his sixth nap. I'm pulling from Healing Waters to activate the reading. Let's see if he's interested in pulling a card. Leo, you want to pull a card? Say hello. Here we go. Leo, interested in pulling a card today? Leo, what are your thoughts? <laughs> Leo, got a thought on a card? No? <laughs> Would you like to pull a card today, sir? No, okay. He's, he's only so far really, really cooperative for Scorpio. So my apologies. <laughs> and he's looking at me like, lady, please. I did this once this week. That's enough. All right. So the mist, trust your inner compass, be led from within. Well, how appropriate for you there, Pisces. Now he's touching it. Yeah, that's the one I wanted to pick, he says. The mist. Trust your inner compass. Be led from within. Beautiful message. We have um, in the next two days on the 17th, the full moon in Pisces. That's the whole point of this deck is healing waters. Well, the full moon in Pisces, water sign, and it's a lunar eclipse so that's drawing on the south node of the moon so lots of stuff from the past coming up to the surface to be released and the new moon in virgo that occurred on september 2nd has a very healing quality to it right um if you missed the new moon reading that i did it's not too late to watch it because it impacts this full moon this lunar cycle as well as the september 2023 for um love tarot energy update where i take the month week by week because there are there's some astrological um underpinnings of the whole month that i also speak to that might be helpful for you the whole point here is that this full moon is about healing what's you're dredging up from the past so you can fully release it okay so I love that you're getting that trust your inner compass and be led from within because as we release things, we have to sort of trust what's ready to go, right? And this um, particular spread is the soul contract um, tarot spread. So I'm looking at the soul contract you may have with the person you're here to watch about. Even if you're a cross watcher, it, it can be speaking to you. Um, about your soul contract with this person. Okay, so I will pull and then I will go through and explain what each card position is and then we'll get the clarifiers. Wow, so the nature of your soul contract, Ace of Cups, of course. So the one true love, the love of your life, this gift from spirit of the love of a lifetime. Your main lesson here, whoo, Queen of Wands, so the Queen of Wands can be about, you know, your sense of um, personal empowerment, your, you know, your sense of, yeah, I got this. Um, sometimes we have a sense that we don't have it all going on and we feel disempowered. So that's what I'm going to lead with for now, but the clarifiers could tell us something very different. What you're already aware of, Knight of Wands. Um, that card has come through in quite a few readings and it can signal a return, um, somebody coming back from the past or some kind of sense of passion building 
Um, let's see. Um, underneath here, Leo, come on. I've got to look at my spread here. Shadow work you still may need. If there's been any sense of imbalance or something that has seemed unfair or out, you know, out of harmony, uh, that's what you may need some shadow work around with the justice card. Past healing that you've already accomplished, the fool. So <clears throat> this does not necessarily need to have occurred in this connection or this contract, but it's talking about evidence you already have where um, you may have had a, an issue, an area where there was some wound and you just took a chance or you let it go right and moved in a new direction into the unknown um you know it's sometimes we can't we don't always have the luxury to assess the risks we've just got to take the chance so we'll see with the clarifiers what you took a chance on and how it sort of was something you could recover from i love this for you the final step on the healing journey in this soul contract that will signal that you're either ready to cut cords in this connection altogether or that you're ready to kind of complete this healing and ascend to the next phase of this soul contract is the three of wands. So the three of wands is talking about, you know, the ships coming in. It's something that you've set in motion that arrives and it's feeling kind of very tied to this. Interesting. Okay. Sorry, Leo, wherever you went. Bye-bye. Ace of Cups, Queen of Wands, Three of Cups, Judgment, Page of Swords. So for some of you, um, it is about a reconciliation and a reunion, um, right? This is about maybe sort of needing more information or just waiting for it to happen the page of swords from the bottom of the deck is you know, when i pull from the bottom of the deck for those of you who are new it's like unconscious awareness or something playing out behind the scenes but in this case because it's like something you can't see in this case it's like your curiosity is this really going to happen but there's something you already know so it may be that you already know that this person is in your orbit, right? They're closer. There's something that you already know, but you're like curious. Doesn't mean what I think it means. And so your main lesson with the Queen of Wands is there she has a certain magical, mystical allure to her. It's like moths to a flame. So I do feel the main lesson in this soul contract for you is about embodying that, right? Being a little less um, wallflowery and unsure of that quality that you possess and really embodying it. Like, look at her. Yeah, she's certain, she's, she's confident. Um, and it just feels to me like a lot of this soul contract is about that unspoken power. And I don't mean to say power in a negative way. It's like, let me use a different word. It's a pull. It's like a magnetic, magical, mysterious pull that you have just by being who you are. Um, and these cards are reunion, reconciliation, even a cause for celebration may be, um, part of what you're waiting to see will this happen so we have uh, potential for second chances for uh, forgiveness or um like i said reunions reconciliations redemption even and you're just not sure like maybe yeah i need to see it i'll i'll, I'll believe it when i see it is what i'm is what's coming through here so let's go ahead and see what you're already aware of, Knight of Wands. Oof. Yes! This is the one who could break your heart again, right? Because you, you feel like, you know, someone took your ruby slippers. Uh-huh. 
This is the past life soulmate. That's why we're doing the soul contract. This is the one who has the power over your heart. The power over your heart. There's the wands, queen of wands. So there, there is a dynamic here. And you have forgotten who you are. You need to remember who you are in this connection and sort of take back your power. And you're aware of this. So I'm not telling you anything new. You're aware of this. Um, but it, 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 it's probably a dynamic that has sort of been playing out across timelines, across time and space. Um, past lives. It's a contract. So let's look at the shadow work still needed. There's something here that feels patently unfair. It's been dogging you for a long time, weighing on you very heavily, more than you can bear. You know, kicking up a lot of fears and insecurities, a lot of apprehension, a lot of worry. Um, it, it, almost like you don't understand it. Um, that moon coming in, like, how did, I'm almost, like, how do we get back to some kind of level playing field? Oof, right? There's the emperor. There's an imbalance here. There's an imbalance here, right? And it's like you've given away your power. And I'm, I'm almost hearing like, how did this happen? It's just too much. And I'm not saying that this, that there's anything nefarious that happened or that this person did anything to create that. I, I really, I really feel it's an honest question on, on your part. Like, how did I, like, how did I get here? This is just too much. So let's take a look at um, past healing that you've already accomplished. Sort of as the receipts that you could, did it once, you could do it again. Hmm. The Fool, clarified by the King of Wands, Temperance, and the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm feeling like in this situation, whoever this was about, was about the fact that you might have been dealing with someone who was unavailable, resistant, right? King of Wands reversed, unavailable lover, Seven of Wands, resistance. And temperance um, is self-control and restraint, kind of going with the flow, not taking it personally. All the energies will eventually come into flow and balance. And so on some level, the fool is kind of, yeah, I am not going to sweat this. I am not going to see this from a negative light. I'm just going to, you know, it's not even about a leap of faith. It was just kind of like, I'm seeing this as an adventure. This is this person's problem. I'm going on to some new, you know, new aspect of life. Uh, I'm turning the page. However you want to see the fool, what I'm seeing here is something that you healed because it, it wasn't something you could invest yourself in bumping up against someone who was resisting and wasn't making themselves available for what you had to offer. So instead of being, you know, um, defeated by it or disempowered by it, yeah, I'm leaping into something new and I'm embracing the adventure of that. So that's what I see here. Think back in your life, because it may not pertain to this, or it could, right? This, this could be part of this storyline, but it could also be, or part of this contract even, but it could also be something else that happened where you didn't let the resistance or the defensiveness or the unavailability get in your way. You're like, well, 
when they're ready, they'll come find me. I'm moving on. I'm going on to, you know, something more fun, more exciting, more uplifting, turning the page. Um, and you have that to talk about or to reference going forward because now we have the final step on the healing journey in this contract that will signal you're ready to either say, uh, nope, I don't want a reconciliation. I don't want a reunion because I don't want to be hurt again. And I don't like this feeling of disempowerment or it will signal that you're ready to finally heal this and work through your shadow and reclaim your power. And then what it is you desire arrives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, right? Because it will take some gathering up your strength, your courage, and your confidence. Yes, Stella getting her groove back is what it might take. And that will take some work, some focus. Um, and, and I almost feel like it it's combined effort, but let's just talk about you for now because we're going to look at your person here, this emperor, uh, in the extended. So we'll stick a pin in that. But it is about, uh, it, takes, it takes some focus. Right? None of this is like twitch your nose like Tabitha. It takes some focus and effort and attention and zeroing in on it to overcome those obstacles. And then there we go. Behind the scenes, in comes the opportunity for reconciliation, for meeting in the middle, for forging a win-win outcome, for seeing where, you know, where you have common ground or what you can at least agree upon. Mm -hmm. So, and that's what arrives because I have a feeling that's more important than just somebody coming in and sweeping you up off your feet. I feel what's really important in this soul contract is that the power is equally and fairly divided. When I say power, please understand what I'm talking about is where you are in the connection. You know, it, I'm missing the six of pentacles. I need that six of pentacles here to say this is a relationship of equals. There has to be equal give and take. It can't just be about what's convenient for you. I am a soul having a human experience and I feel a lot of what's happening for you and to have me over here compartmentalized isn't working for me. It disempowers me. It hurts me. And so when it's just good for you, is not what's good for me. Got it? Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. If that speaks to you, it's your reading. All right, so before I give you the astrology, I'm gonna tell you I'm headed to the extended as well. There are three options below, so make sure when you click a link that you read what it is you're getting because there's a monthly, there's a one time, there's an all access pass, you know. Um, the extended from this, person's point of view is uh, what's their perception of you, right? How do they see you? What, what are their feelings for you? What are their intentions toward you? What are they getting from you? Like, what do they receive from you? What's their physical fulfillment level with you? And if they're not close enough to you, like what's the chemistry, the attraction? Um, and where is this whole connection headed? So that's what we're going to do in the extended and the links are below. And um, yeah, if you, uh, if this reading has spoken to you or if you've been enjoying my readings and you have not yet done so, please subscribe below because this is, this is my work. This is what I'm called to do. This is how I keep a roof over my head. So by subscribing, and by staying engaged in my readings and viewing them, you help me stay here. And then I can bring you the messages that um, you need. And then YouTube sends me out to other people just like you who are also looking for messages that they need. That's how it works. Thank you in advance. I appreciate you. Okay, Queen of Wands is out twice. She is associated with the sign of Aries. Yes, the first sign of the Zodiac, where we get our ego structure from. We have... Um, the judgment card is Pluto, uh, which rules Scorpio, Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy, um, Justice, Libra, nice and balanced and diplomatic and fair, 
The moon here is associated with Pisces. The emperor is Aries. Um, the fool is the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius, king of wands, Leo, temperance, more Sagittarian energy, strength card, more Leo. That's what I have for you. And your oracle again is the mist. Trust your inner compass. Be led from within. Beautiful message. That's what I have. I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second.